This is a tutorial for Dex Science Set 4.1. Hi, in this video, we will build a simple pendulum to demonstrate how events reoccur in our environment by observing its swinging motion. The compartment B4.2.1.1 has the items that we need to do this activity. Inside the compartment, we have a few components in there. We have two double-sided tips, a long string, and some marbles. You're going to build a simple pendulum. You're just going to need only one marble, and we are going to need a simple retort stand that we built. But we are going to have to remove the plastic piece. So let's go ahead and remove that. Let's try and then get our double-sided tape ready. So we are just going to remove the tape that has been put on it. And then we are going to cut some pieces that will help us do our activity. So we get a ruler. And then we measure 3 centimeters off our double-sided tape. And we're going to go ahead and cut that. Nicely done. The next thing you're going to need is to take our marble and find a surface to rub on to make sure we get a rough surface. It's important that you find a surface that is rough. You don't have to necessarily use a sandpaper like we're doing here, but you can find any rough surface to rub your marble on to ensure you get a rough surface where you attach your double-sided tape. Before we do that, we're going to need to cut a certain length of string, particularly 15 centimeters. Let's go ahead and cut that. Now that should just be about enough for us to build a simple pendulum. So you're going to place your string into double-sided tape as shown here. And then you're going to peel the back of the double-sided tape so that you are left with just tape. The next thing you do is to gently crumple it, very gently, and place it, as you see here, on the rough side of your marble. So you have something that looks like this. Now, once you're done with this, you're going to place that onto your retort stand. But before you do, you need to cut some more double-sided tape. So again, 3 centimeters of double-sided tape. And then you're going to place your pendulum just as it's a few centimeters above the wooden slab. You are then going to tie your string in this way. And then... Place your double-sided tape on it. You're then going to gently make sure it is fixed. And then you're going to be able to swing your simple pendulum. To swing the pendulum, do not lift it up too high. Don't make it too low either. Just about midway and then you let go. There you have it. A nice simple swinging pendulum. This demonstrates that things in our environment can reoccur. Very simple activity. You can go ahead and measure how long it takes the pendulum to swing a number of times as an additional activity. This is your simple pendulum swinging back and front. Something interesting would be to measure how long it takes before it comes to a halt. You can also reduce how far it is, and then observe what happens. You would see that if you do this, the pendulum begins to swing much faster. Interesting, isn't it? As always, this has been an activity using the Dexline set 4.1.